Why are Python's arrays slow? I expected array.array .array to be faster than lists, as arrays seem to be inboxed. However, I get the following result. What could be the cause of such a difference? The storage is unboxed, but every time you access an element Python has to box it, embed it in a regular Python object, in order to do anything with it. For example, your sum A iterates over the array, and boxes each integer one at a time in a regular Python int object. That costs time. In your sum L, all the boxing was done at the time the list was created. So, in the end, an array is generally slower but requires substantially less memory. Here's the relevant code from a recent version of Python 3, but the same basic ideas apply to all Python implementations since Python was first released. Here's the code to access a list item. There's very little to it. SumList, i just returns the ith object in the list, and all Python objects in Python are pointers to a struct whose initial segment conforms to the layout of a structPy object. And here's the underscore underscore get item underscore underscore implementation for an array with type code L. The raw memory is treated as a vector of platform native CLong integers. The ith CLong is read up, and then pylong underscore from long is called to wrap box. The native CLong in a Python long object, which in Python 3, which eliminates Python 2's distinction between int and long, is actually shown as type int. This boxing has to allocate new memory for a Python int object and spray the native CLong's bits into it. In the context of the original example, this object's lifetime is very brief, just long enough for some, to add the contents into a running total. And then more time is required to deallocate the new int object. This is where the speed difference comes from, always has come from, and always will come from in the Python implementation. To add to Tim Peter's excellent answer, arrays implement the buffer protocol, while lists do not. This means that, if you are writing a C extension, or the moral equivalent, such as writing a Cython module, then you can access and work with the elements of an array much faster than anything Python can do. This will give you considerable speed improvements, possibly well over an order of magnitude. However, it has a number of downsides. You are now in the business of writing C instead of Python. Cython is one way to ameliorate this, but it does not eliminate many fundamental differences between the languages, you need to be familiar with C semantics and understand what it is doing. PYPYC API works to some extent, but isn't very fast. If you are targeting PYPY, you should probably just write simple code with regular lists, and then let the jitter optimize it for you. C extensions are harder to distribute than pure Python code because they need to be compiled. Compilation tends to be architecture and operating system dependent, so you will need to ensure you are compiling for your target platform. Going straight to C extensions may be using a sledgehammer to swat a fly, depending on your use case. You should first investigate NumPy and see if it is powerful enough to do whatever math you're trying to do. It will also be much faster than native Python, if used correctly. Tim Peters answered why this is slow, but let's see how to improve it. Sticking to your example of sum, range. Factor 10 smaller than your example to fit into memory here. This way also number py needs to box slash unbox, which has additional overhead. To make it fast one has to stay within the number pyc code. So from the list solution to the number py version this is a factor 16 in runtime. Let's also check how long creating those data structures takes. Clear winner, number py. Also note that creating the data structure takes about as much time as summing, if not more. Allocating memory is slow. Memory usage of those. So these take 8 bytes per number, with varying overhead. For the range we use 32-bit INTs are sufficient, so we can save some memory. But it turns out that adding 64-bit INTs is faster than 32-bit INTs on my machine, so this is only worth it if you are limited by memory slash bandwidth. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.